I have recently purchased a lot of three Roman coins and I found something quite interesting that I want to share with you. These three coins were all struck under the same unremarkable emperor, a man called Numerian who reigned very briefly at the end of the 3rd century AD. All three coins were minted at the city of Lugdunum on modern day France. Let's have a quick look at these three pieces first and discuss what, curi what is curious about this lot, shall we? First, let's look at this Antoninianus. Quite a pretty little thing with a lovely color, mixing the white from the partial silvering layer to the brown of the bronze metal underneath. The bust is very fine in style and is in remarkably nice condition with the eyes and his radiate crown pretty much untouched by circulation wear. Really nice coin overall. Looking at the reverse, we have Pax, the incarnation of peace, and the letter B for, for a control mark, likely meant to indicate the workshop where this coin was minted. Pay attention to this detail on the next couple of coins, this little letter. We now go to the second coin. Here's Numerian's face once more, and it looks a little bit different, likely it was made by a different die engraver. He also wears something else. The first coin had Numerian wearing some draperies over his shoulder, while this one shows him in armor, wearing his cuirass. An interesting coin, in good condition, but nothing out of the ordinary for the type. When we head to the reverse, we now have the control mark C, meaning it was struck at another workshop, and the design also changes. This time we have Mars, the god of war. Very sharp detail and this lovely Mars Victor in the legends, the victorious Mars. Quite a strong message. We finally get to the third coin. Hmm. Not as sharp as the previous coin, right? Although the silvering in this coin is pretty much intact, sadly the coin had, has been struck with a worn die meaning the negative image of the design on the die was already well worn when the coin was struck, weakly imprinting the design on the flan. But that's not what caused my attention the most. What caught my attention is that up to the smallest details, this obverse is identical to the coin I showed previously. Let me show a picture of both obverses. I would dare say the coins are obverse die matches, that is, the same obverse die was used to strike both planchets, making these two coins <laughs> sort of like sisters. The coins were struck at different moments at the die's life, one when it was still fresh and had lots of details, and the other while it was already quite worn and it needed to be discarded for a new one. We then go to the reverse of the third coin and, oh my, the reverse is just like the previous piece. We have Mars in very similar style and the same control letters at the same spot. Could it be that these coins are obverse and reverse die matches? Mind you, the reverse dies were the mobile ones. The obverse die was firmly placed at the anvil, meaning the reverse dies wore more quickly and had to be replaced more often. By looking at pictures of both reverses side by side, sadly we see that despite the coins likely being an obverse die match, they are not a reverse die match. There are letters in different positions in relation to the image of Mars, and the god himself has small differences between the coins. Still, considering how consistent looking style-wise these, these two reverses are, it is very reasonable to argue that the reverse ties could have been engraved by the same artist. Fascinating, like we really have two sister coin he coins here. If we put on screen all three coins now, I come to a conclusion. All coins from the same emperor all from the same mint, all with similar patinas and wear patterns. These coins most certainly have come from the same hoard, and God knows where or when they were found, and throughout these years, 
that's crazy. Think about this. From the 3rd century AD in the province of Gaul, into a jar, throughout the centuries, all the way to the trays on my collection, these three coins have never been separated for, from one another. How about that for a numismatic curiosity? I was planning on keeping one of these coins and selling the other two, but now I feel pity about separating them. What would you do? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you all enjoyed this different video. Just a small curiosity I found it in my collection and a little bit of a a little bit more coin content for you people. So happy collecting and I'll see you soon.